Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. Mm, it got better. We got him in the end. That we did. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. Uh, focus on the artifact. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. I'm deciding I really don't like Liara's eyebrows. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, Probably we can get to the not... dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Oh, because they're just drawn on. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that's like a one of those like to look more human things. Yeah. Well, her mother also had eyebrows, so it could just be like very convenient facial markings. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. She also has freckles, which no one else has. <laughs> So, this was a beautiful colony once. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. My shepherd is a, uh... In Prime doesn't deserve this. Badass? No, she's a or oh, Earth orphan, uh... War hero, I think? It's a Prothean text sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up, uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. <laughs> Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. Does it make sense for Garrus to make that joke unless he's like suddenly discovered dinosaurs and thought, oh my god, those are so cool. <laughs> I thought, whoa, I kind of look like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Shepard loves me so much. Uh, in the Shatter Booker files, uh, you can like read different dossiers for all the different characters and you can read Grunt's uh, internet searches or extranet searches and it goes Rex, or not Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> like, he kept being like, wait. What? Because like, he looked up Ergnot Rex, but then he saw Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he was like, what is that? <laughs> awesome! Because you gotta remember, he's still basically a kid. Yeah. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet, and when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. And you just left that data pad, like, Shepherd, this just Cerberus right there? No problem. Prime. <laughs> How? No one would just I figure that out. To Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. If you get all of the little pieces of intel, you get an achievement, but I don't want to go out of my way and waste time doing that today. The elevator leads down into the dig site. So fill me in exactly what happened here. We got like a distress beacon. Um Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. 
But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can Holy you tell crap. me about the Protheans, the people, not the technology? Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And oh, given their like similar the interests in helping other species, <laughs> it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. We get it, Liara. You want to do it with the The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever oh, the Protheans so. were, no way. finding one alive not represents up on an that incredible all. opportunity. Are you coloring them blue? <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I'm glad you're here. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> oh, my legs Cerberus are Cerberus damaged the life pod when they <laughs> excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, She's breaking like wet open the right pod now. would kill him. <laughs> we have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh shit! There they are. <clears throat> so in Mass Effect 1, in on Eden Prime was the first mission you ever do. And uh come on. Zoom over there. Hold on. Yep, come on, zoom over there. So in Mass Effect 1, uh this was the first mission that you ever do, and it was supposed to be like a... Wait. Um, shit, where am I going? Like a test for you if you want to be a Spectre or not. Ooh. All right. Let's get moving before uh, more of them come back. When you get there, you find out that the Geth had invaded with Saren. And that's when you first find out about like the Reapers and Saren and all that stuff. On harder difficulties, if you can't get past these, past these weird uh, turrets, you can just go around in circles around them if you're a vanguard, because they go slightly slower than, than the speed of you. Than the speed of you. I'm not on point right now. I am not what, able. What are you? Focus. Task at hand. I'm trying to tell stories. So this one time on Eden Prime. There, that lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it. So Mari. Yeah. Three Protheans walk into a bar. Uh oh. <laughs> Is this gonna be offensive, Stacy? <laughs> I feel like that's how all. Wait, wait. A Prothean, a Nasari, and a Turian. a Turian walk into a bar. And I don't really know how I would make this into a joke, but. And the Prothean says to the Asari, Hey, did you know I genetically engineered you to slut it up? <laughs> Only like ten, like point zero five percent of the population would ever understand that joke. <laughs> do you know why? Do you know why the Asari are blue? <laughs> why? Because the the Prothean blue is lowed all over her face. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> So these are the 
for the Protheans. Yeah. So, all this time we thought that the Protheans were this magically advanced civilization of just Victor, wonderful beings. Yeah. Acknowledged. And? I don't want to give anything away. Oh, damn it. I'm just giving the pretext. And they didn't know how to make their outfits so their heads wouldn't clip into their back of their clothes. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. third of our people. Alert! Northside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. Then that's under a million Protheans. Total. For what? Oh, these, these are the last of the Protheans. Oh, I see. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw Here, the video, let me... and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Maybe we should have brain sex again, Shepard. Maybe. Come on. Brain Maybe sex. Just... Brain sex. One more time. Come on. No, really? It would help. <laughs> All right, Liara. Remember in Mass This Effect? means you're almost a Prothean. I must have sex with you. <laughs> That's pretty much the reason why she liked you so much in Mass Effect 1. And then she was like, and then I stalked you on the internet and tell friended me. you on Facebook. How tell come you haven't friended me back? <laughs> tell me tell me about the Protheans again. Tell me what else the Prothean cipher told you. <laughs> I like it when you talk like a Prothean. Can you put the cy Prothean cipher in my brain? <laughs> Mm. Resistance information update. We've gotten word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the, the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Kambata to escape, firing near-miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information, and with luck, the locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. Ugh. A rat. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. No! Oh, someone once noticed that all the pictures in Eden Prime are pictures of Caden. And so he what? must... What? <laughs> There's just pictures of Caden everywhere? Yeah. They're all pictures. Like, no one really looked until someone was like, Oh! <gasps> Caden, you slut! <laughs> Caden oh, I just Prime, went into a suck circle. The Eden Justin Bieber. <laughs> Did I just come from here? Yeah, here. There should be a picture. No. Hmm. Ah. Damn it. All right. Pixar, it didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I, it was on Tumblr, I swear. <laughs> Mari, you can't believe everything you read on the internet, okay? But what about Tumblr? Tumblr counts as the internet, Mari. <laughs> but what about Tumblr? <laughs> I'm lost. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military oh. stronghold, it's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Haha, <laughs> 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 suck it! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who's shooting me? Uh, you. I love it when those turrets just explode on impact. 
Yeah, I just, you know that I just punched a turret and it exploded? And that guy just caught on fire? Because I exploded his turret before he could lay it down. <laughs> Hydroponics right there. Oh, sorry, Gary. Jump step. We got it, Liara. Thanks. Protheans. <laughs> Turn to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here. Singularity that Liara put down. Ah. Oh, here we ah, go. No, you don't! <laughs> I know I'm playing on easy, but it still feels good. Oh my gosh, I bet. an infiltrator that's like the perfect spot oh the sniper yeah there's another spot over here right here infiltrator is really fun to play too but punching people is cool too 
There's something about hand-to-hand -hand combat that's just so empowering. It's much even more empowering when everyone else is using guns. You're like, bullets, I'm bitches. The signal. <laughs> bullets are for pussies. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kadje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens.